Welcome. In this short video, I'm going to guide you through the proper troubleshooting procedure to locate a faulty thermostat on the commercial air conditioning simulator. Now to begin, we need to click on the thermostat and set the selector switch to cool and turn the temperature setting down. This can be done by clicking on this blue square until it's highlighted. Next, we want to go to the various electrical loads and see which of them are running. So we're going to start at the indoor unit. We're going to click on this indoor unit icon and we don't hear any sound coming from the blower. Uh, you could also verify if there's air coming out of the registers. But a convenient way of verifying this is to click on the side door and when the door opens, if the blower was running there would be a spinning blue arrow around the circumference of this blower. So our blower is not running here. Um, our next step is to go to the outdoor unit and see what's running out there. And when we proceed out there, we see that the condenser fan motor is not running, nor is the compressor running. So we have a problem that's affecting all three electrical loads. At this point, my suggestion to you is to use the procedure guide here at the top left, which will walk you through each step in this troubleshooting procedure. We've completed step one, two, and three. Our indoor fan is not running. Our outdoor fan is not running, nor is our compressor running. Okay. Next, we want to measure for 240 volts across the red and white wires on the primary side of the transformer at the indoor unit. Before I do this, I'm going to take out the electrical wiring diagram up here on the top right tab which will help guide us through this troubleshooting procedure. So our first step is just seeing if in fact the transformer here is receiving power. This is going to be necessary to go back to the indoor unit. Now you can click on the indoor unit icon or you can click on this little magnifying glass right here and it'll take us right to the transformer connections. Click on the toolbox tab at the top left and remove the digital multimeter or volt ohm meter from the toolbox. Setting the selector dial to AC volts, we're going to place each of the leads at the primary connections of the transformer. And we should have 240 volts here, and as we can see, we do. So this verifies that we don't have an issue with a breaker or a disconnect at this point. So we do in fact have 24 volts. Our next step is to measure the 24 volt side of the transformer and verify that we have 24 volt volt 24 volts coming out of the transformer. So if we just simply move the meter leads over to the red and blue wires here, we can see that we have 24 volts. So let's go back to this wiring diagram here for a second. We verified 240 volts at this point. We verified 24 volts at this point. We have a little fuse here, but we also have the thermostat. Now, whatever is causing the indoor blower motor as well as the outdoor fan motor and compressor to be off, um, it has to be something common to both of these or all three of these components. And as we can see here, the indoor fan relay coil and the compressor contactor are both controlled by the thermostat. So our next step is to check the thermostat. We do have 24 volts, so we're going to click yes. And we want to go to the thermostat and we want to check the wiring first. Um, but at this point, there's no other component that could be at fault. Um, we don't have power uh, coming out of that thermostat because neither of these electrical loads are operational. So let's go to the thermostat. And again, I'll use the magnifying glass to do this. And we want to just kind of, we're going to store the meter leads away for now and the meter right back in the toolbox. We want to open this thing up and just tighten the terminals which we've done. Uh, it already states the terminals are already tight. So our next step is to simply replace the thermostat. Clicking on the thermostat will replace it. And we have this little glowing hotspot up here at the top um, that gives us a prompt to replace it. So we're going to click replace. It's going to cost $170. And as we can see, this corrects the problem. Again, don't forget to clean the work area. Make sure all your caps and covers are back on. So we're just going to briefly go outside, make sure all the covers are in place, back to the indoor unit, and we're going to restore this bottom door back on the unit. Make sure the side door has been replaced. And in the corner, you'll see the broom, which allows you to clean the work area and get your fifth star. Click on the broom to clean the work area. Good luck. Hey, it is Craig with Interplay Learning. We hope you enjoyed this last video. The easiest way to keep up with all of our latest videos is by subscribing to our page right here. 
Just to let you know, if you're interested to learn how simulations are critical to onboarding and improving you or your employees' performance in the field, please visit us at interplay-learning.com.